So, our, so I've sent you a beeper, and so we're gonna have an open an opening the box video here, and uh, in the in the <laughs> a box, great unboxing. <laughs> that's right. In the box is a beeper and a couple of earphones, and and I'm gonna introduce you to the beeper. Have you have you turned it on at all, or is um, I haven't. No, I sort of looked at it and thought I should just. Leave it. There's no obvious on button. Although I guess the the, no. the black button, the black, uh, yeah, the black disc thing on the on the top is a volume oh, control. Like a, right. Ooh. So you turn it turn it back off and then back on again. So can you hear it beeping right now? I can okay. hear like yeah, a high pitched whir, whir okay. Oh, okay, so so what's happening to me is that Zoom is cutting that out. As soon as it starts to beep, I can't hear it anymore. So wow. Zoom, Zoom has a has a very effective filter against things like that. So I can't hear, I can't hear the beep at all. Let me just play it again for the benefit of this microphone. That's amazing that Zoom does that. Yeah, it, it's it's very good at it. It took me a while to figure out why why it was that I couldn't hear things, but Zoom Zoom is quite effective at. And and this is just battery powered, very good. Sorry, I'm just taking it apart now. <laughs> so you shouldn't have to you the, the battery compartment. You should never have to really get into the batteries. Or batteries last for a pretty long time. And, uh, so. What what the it's a it's a pretty sim, uh, uh, simple thing and so when you turn on the when you turn this thing on it comes on and it makes sort of a whoopy sound it sort of goes ooh yeah but when it be and and that's the same sound as you're going to get with the beep except that there's not going to be any whoop it's going to be just it's just going to come on like that so basically mm -hmm. what happens is when you turn it on it has to fill up the capacitors or whatever that are in the machine and it takes a while for the for the beep to come up to speed but but when you get a beep it will be a quite clear sharp sound and so right so so there's a button on the top of the beeper so turn the turn the yep yeah, that one so turn the thing on and now push the white button and it, it and it has it. stopped so now it's it's deciding when it is that it's going to beep again and you can check to see whether it's on by pushing down on the white button and holding it down. Push it down and hold it down. Keep it, yep. keep it down. So it's beeping at intervals. It's a Beep. square, square wave kind of a deal, Beep. and, and yep. we can we can sort of hear that coming through Zoom as well. Okay. But but that's what the beep is going to sound like. It 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 isn't going to sound like a start and stop thing. It's going to when it when it happens, it'll start like that beep, and then it'll continue until you push the button again and stop the beep. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So, so right now the the beeper has decided when it's going to beep next, and that could be a minute from now, or an hour from now, or fifty two minutes from now, or whenever it, it it makes up its own mind about that. I don't control it. You don't control it really, and so it's decided when it's going to beep. And when it beeps, it's going to beep, and it's going to and when it beeps, it's going to continue until you push the button. So it'll it'll actually beep for maybe a minute or a couple of minutes, and then it'll turn itself off because it doesn't want to waste its battery, but. But it, it's a very, a pretty long time that it'll, that it will beep. So okay. your task when when we get when we get going here is to, is to put the beeper in a con convenient place. You can clip it to your shirt or put it in your pocket or clip it to your belt or what, whatever you, wherever it is convenient to carry it, and and go about doing your everyday life, whatever it is that you are what, that you would do that day, until the thing beeps. And when it beeps, your task is to sort of freeze what was going on in your inner experience right at the very onset of the beep, and then push the button to stop the beep, and then take some notes. I guess I didn't send you a. I didn't. I should have sent you a notebook, but I don't think I did actually. No. But I've got notebooks. That's uh, all right. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Sorry about that. But Do you like? I mean, I wonder if if it's something like. Um, a little thing like that, in fact, that I can that's exactly carry what I, around. That's exactly what I generally use. Something looks looks something okay. just exactly like that. So that'd be perfect. Excellent.
and uh, uh, and, and so your task basically is to try to capture what was going on right before the beep begins. So if this is if this is like a, a timeline thing here and time is going on like this and the beep happens right here, so now it's beeping and then you push you stop the beep and time keeps on going like that. The moment that we're interested in is right here, right one microsecond just before the beep begins. Mm -hmm. I sometimes call that the last undisturbed moment just before the beep. Mm -hmm. It's not really just it's not really undisturbed, but that's Pretty close, I think, is a, a fair thing to call it. The, so we're looking for the the last undisturbed moment just before the beep begins. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And your task is to jot down some notes so that then we can talk about that. Okay. And and I'm not going to tell you what notes to take. I I presume that you know more about your experience than I do. And and uh, and so your task is to jot down whatever you think it's going to require so that then when we want to talk about that we can we can get the details of your experience mm -hmm. and the beep that we've so far been talking about is coming from the onboard speaker but I don't want you to use that I want you to use the earpiece and I think I've given you two or three earpieces one of which has already got the hook on the end like the one that you mm -hmm. just held up has a hook that so oh, that yeah. goes that goes behind your ear and uh, and the other end plugs into the beeper and you hear the same beep on the in the uh, earphone as you have been playing into your microphone there although i wonder is your research disturbed by the fact that people are increasingly wearing like small Bluetooth earbuds like this for larger portions of their day. It's funny, I think um, I don't walk around, I mean, I walk around wearing them when I'm listening to a podcast, for example, but sometimes when I'm at my desk in a work day, a work day that I have many calls, I'll just leave them in because they're quite comfortable. I mean, obviously I won't while I'm doing this, but um, it's funny how we've just become used to having something in our ear all the time. Uh, Let's see. So, in there. So the answer to your question is: a lot of people in my studies will do just exactly what you're doing right now. They'll wear they'll wear, they'll wear their Apple earphone in one ear and the and my beeper earphone in the other ear, and uh, and and what is done to my research, I think, has made it a little bit easier for people. Some people used to be embarrassed about wearing things in their ears, but now nobody's embarrassed about wearing things in their ears because everybody's wearing things in their ears. Yeah. And I would say that this is an old-fashioned wired earphone, and some people find it easier to run the wire inside your shirt if you, uh, yeah. well, you don't snag it on the doorknob when you're walking by or whatever. But, uh, but I don't really care, whatever, however, however that works for you, as long as, as long as the object is for you to put the thing in your ear and then forget about it and go about your day doing whatever it does until it beeps. And and right now you can if you push that white button you can check the volume and mm -hmm. and that and that wheel on the top gives you a that's volume a control that's what that white that's what that square wave is so you can adjust the volume to get it good and what a good volume is is one that's loud enough so that there's no question about it. well that's the beep and it's not too soft so you don't think well is that the beep is that the beep is that the beep oh yeah that's the beep well by then you've mm -hmm. lost you you lost what's of of interest so yeah. And you will find, as maybe you have found with your regular earphones, that when you move from one situation to the next, you probably need to change the volume. So mm -hmm. if you're in a quiet place, you want the volume low. But if you go in your car or something, then you want your volume up. And, and you can always adjust the volume by pushing that square wave white button. All right. So the task, the, the beeper is a simple thing. It beeps when it wants to beep. It should never be more than an hour. If it's been more than an hour, then maybe something's wrong and you should push the white button and make sure that the beeper is alive and the earphone is alive. You know, sometimes the earphones break or or whatever. But uh, and and your task is is simple as well. Your task is to pay attention to whatever it was that was going on in your direct experience right before the beep occurs. 
And what in your direct experience means, we're going to probably have to sort that out. And but but basically, it, if you were if you had an itch and and you were scratching your itch and you were feeling the itch on your shoulder, well, that would be what would that would be what was in your experience. And if you had a visual image, then I'd be interested in your visual image. And if you were talking to yourself, then I'd be interested in what you were saying. And uh, and I'm I'm not predicting what it is that your inner experience will look like i mean or feel like or sound like or or whatever and except to say the chances are pretty good you're not going to be very good at it on the first day and uh and that's you shouldn't take that personally that's not like uh, olivia is a terrible subject nobody's good at it on the first day and so what we're going to do is i'm going to we're going to pick a we're, we're going to pick a day when we're going to have a another one of these conversations mm -hmm. let's let's say just for sake of argument that we decide we're going to do it next friday then i want you to wear the beeper on thursday or our, i guess for you that would be friday and or whatever within 24 hours of when we're going to be beat i want you to wear the beeper mm -hmm. and get a half a dozen beeps something like six beeps and so the, you're going to wear and and it and on average, it's going to be sort of like a half an hour in between beeps. It might be two minutes in between beeps, and it might be 17 minutes, and it might be 59 minutes. But on average, it's going to be sort of like a half an hour, and which it's going to take you three hours to get that, to get half a dozen beeps, roughly. Maybe two hours, maybe four hours, depending on how the, how the beeper works. And so you're saying you want me to stop, stop collecting, stop wearing it after I've got about half a dozen? Beeps. That's right. That's correct. Okay. And and I would like you to to do it in one period, one one and one collection period, I guess you might say. Mm -hmm. But I, but I'm not really that, that picky about that. If something comes up and you got to take the beeper off, take the beeper off and then come back and do it again. The only reason that I want you to do it in 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 one setting, so to speak, is that it's easier to forget about it if you do it all at once. If you're always putting it in and taking it out, and putting it in and taking it out, then then the the mechanics of the beepers are to get in the way, and uh, but uh, but it'll turn out that most most people just can't think about the beeper, and the beeper isn't that interesting. And right now, it's interesting, but when you're going about your everyday life for a while, most people forget about the beeper. So most things don't matter, except I want you to wear the earphone. I don't want you to use the the onboard speaker because the onboard speaker isn't good enough. I want you I want that beep to be injected right into your ear so to speak. And coming from a coming from the onboard speaker that not not that good. Mm -hmm. And the, and the moment that I'm interested in is the moment that's right before the beep began. I'm not interested in your reaction to the beeper. So if you know if you say well the beep startled me, well that would be after the beep, of course. Mm -hmm. I'm not interested in how startled you are by the beep, particularly. You can tell me that if you like, but but the moment that we're, I'm interested in is right before the beeper went off. Because mm -hmm. really, what what's interesting is what Olivia would be like without a beeper. Mm -hmm. you know, the, the beeper, in some way, screws up Olivia's life or alters Olivia's life. And and what would be really interesting would be to know what was going on with Olivia with no beeper. Yeah. But we can't do that. So the best we can do is we can ask Olivia to pay attention to what's going on just before the beep begins. And of course, Olivia is wearing a beeper, and it will have altered Olivia in some way, but maybe not very much because the beeper isn't that interesting. The rest of the things in Olivia's world are probably more interesting than waiting for a beep. But maybe not. Maybe 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 you'll be the kind of person who will say, "Is that I'm going to I'm going to wait for the beep. I'm going to wait for the beep." <laughs> be like that for 3 hours. <clears throat> Most people are not like that. But but if you are, that's 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 what I want to know. And and the, and the and the the other, I guess the uh, uh, what I'm inter I'm in I'm interested in what Olivia is really like. I don't I don't really want Olivia to make up a story to, to think that she's trying to please me or something. That. What I'm interested in is what Olivia's experience is really like, and what that means is that we've got to figure out some way to have a conversation about something which is entirely private. Olivia's experience is nobody ever gets a chance to see Olivia's experience unless she says it's okay. 
So this is what I this is what I propose, and and then we can negotiate this. But my proposal is, we're going to wear a beeper, and you're going to try to tell me exactly what's in your experience, or you're going to say, I don't want to talk about this beep. This beep is none of your business. I've got things that are none of your business. I presume you've got things that are none of my business. And if, so if you don't want to talk about a beep, you should say, I don't want to talk about this beep. Mm -hmm. But if we're going to talk about the beep, then I should be able to ask you anything about that experience that I would like to know because I, I would like to get that experience in as high fidelity as I can get it. Mm -hmm. So that's sort of the basic rule i guess you might say, that you, that you might say you're the you you have absolute control but if you're willing to relinquish that control then i get the then i get to ask and yeah. you can and you can change your mind about that oh i didn't realize you're going to ask that if you ask if you ask that then the hell with you i'm not going to i don't i don't want to play this game anymore that mm -hmm. doesn't generally happen but you know you always have control 51% of the vote so to speak and and then the other thing is we have we have agreed that or semi agreed we have talked about at any, at any rate that I would put this these conversations on my website and you would do with them whatever it is that you want to do with them and and so my suggestion as the way we do that is that that we'll let you do this for a couple of times before we put anything on the web so so this kind of this conversation we should wait until after you've had a day or two of sampling and then if you're still interested in it then we should unroll these things sort of a, as they happen or a day, a day or a week or however long it takes us in a, in a, with a delay it's sort of, so it's one sort thing of, about that can i ask that i'm i'm quite happy for it to be on the web um I appreciate the sort of uh, opportunity to do a couple before they go straight up there, um, just to make sure. Is it possible that it's that they're not labeled with my first name and last name when you put them on your website? That I can just be Olivia, or I could even be um, you could use, I guess, my middle. You could, I could be Olivia Sophie, but maybe just not Olivia Rosenman, just because my name is quite um, unique and I rely on. Like my work as a freelancer, people will often be Googling me and it's probably, I don't know how great your SEO is on your website, but it's probably not necessarily something I want prospective clients to stumble across. Well, yes. The answer to that is yes. We can call you whatever it is that you would like to be called. Okay. The, this would be a video deal so that people who know you wouldn't get, get you... That's fine. I'm happy with, I don't mind people seeing it. It's more just that I don't want it, you know, indexed by the internet and easily searchable. Okay, that's fair. And and so we can call you Olivia or we can call you Sophie or we can call you Jane, Jane or we can call you whatever it is that you would like to be called. I don't really care about right. that. But, and, and, and in my work in general, I give people pseudonyms with some exceptions so my my the and the and the exceptions are what has been on my website so far the people who are on my website are are named people but that's the exception rather than rule and but it, and and everything is up for grabs about this you know, if, mm -hmm. if for whatever reason you don't want to be named that's fine with me okay and you know you might change your mind about that in which case we can change your mind, change your mind about that. So, and and I'm not I'm not trying to say I'm going to try to talk you into changing your mind. I'm not going to try to talk you into changing your mind. What I'm what I'm saying is, I'm I'm very sensitive to the to the the deal about permissions. And uh, and I, I I think it, you know, the way psychological experiments generally go is people people are required to give some kind of consent before the before the experiment begins and i think that's wacky how can you how could you possibly give consent to what it is that's about to happen because there's there's no way that you really know exactly what's going to happen so what i'm suggesting is that we have a sort of a tentative a, a consent and then every step of the way we'll have some more tentative consent until eventually we'd say well yeah that's okay 
and and then we'll put it on the web and after that of course it's too late but but uh, but I, I I want you to feel like you have control and I want you actually to have control maybe I should have said that the other way around I want you to actually have control and to feel like you have control either way both both of those things apply and and the reason and the reason for that that I'm I'm pretty careful about it is that I recognize that what we are embarking on is something which is absolutely private and and I have also said pretty frequently out in 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 public that people very often don't know the characteristics of their own inner experience and so you're likely to find something out about your inner experience that you didn't know about you should have the right to say oh geez now that I found that out I don't I don't want to have that on the web which is why I'm suggesting that we have sort of a delay into this procedure where you can think about it and talk to your friends about it and decide on your own about it all right so you should feel free to contact me if you have questions about what the procedure is you should ask me but we, we, we can, we're also going to try it out on the first day and I'm, I'm expecting that we, you're going to you're going to have questions that are some, I'm going to ask you questions that you probably weren't anticipating and, and then you're going to say well if I'd known you were going to ask that question then I would have taken better notes about that and, or whatever that's the way these things go and uh and and so I'm I'm and that's why I'm 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 suggesting that we sort of semi contract to do this like three times at the at the outset because it's not until about the third time that people start to get good at it. Mm -hmm. And then as we go we might we might do it more often or it might you you might decide I don't want to do this at all or whatever and that's okay too, but but the target ought to be maybe three times and three or more times or something like that. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't it does it doesn't actually take much time. It it takes the hour that of the interview. Wearing the beeper doesn't really take much time because you're going to be doing whatever it is that you're going to be doing anyway. <coughs> then we have an hour of an interview, and then I've got some time to clean up the interview and put it together and whatever. So, do you have other questions? No, I don't think so. It, I, it sounds straightforward. Um, yeah, no, I don't have any other questions. I suppose when, when it's a matter of finding a time. Yes. Oh, and I, I guess. I, sorry, you, you got. I was, I was going to say, I, I would like us to involve a former graduate student of mine who's now a PhD clinical psychologist Alec you I guess you've probably seen if you've been to my website you've seen Alec Crum mm -hmm. yep I'm what do you think that. what do you think about having her involved in these conversations and the and the I'm reason there. and the reason for that is you know I've got blind spots like everybody has blind spots and and she's got blind spots like everybody's got blind spots but they're probably not the same blind spots as I've got and so it, it uh, when one is go when one is looking for fidelity, it's generally a good idea to have more than one set of eyeballs. You know? yeah. And and so if what she she's in different time zones and whatever now, and and she has said that Fridays are good for her. If they continue to be good for you, we could do the same time. Otherwise, we this being this time. Yeah. Is that yeah. I mean, that is fine for me. The only issue is that, so it's 10, it's 10.30 in the morning now. I do usually get up quite early because I'm usually woken up quite early by a two-year-old. Um, but just making sure that I have enough time to get enough beeps. I wonder if we could push it. Um, like, so say by now, if, you know, if I'm, if I'm up and ready to go at 6.30, that's four hours. But, uh, you know. So Sometimes. the so the beeps can come the previous day. 
So oh, far. okay. All right. I don't need to do them right straight before. Okay, yeah. then that yeah. is fine. This you can, time is fine. Yeah. You can do it straight before if you want. And as a general rule, I would say the fresher the beeps, the better. But the but that makes makes that would make the beeps always at the same time of day, early in the morning on Saturday, which might not be the best strategy. Yeah. Yeah, but I think that gives a a good. So maybe I I can either do them anytime on Friday and. Or maybe I'll try one time if we're going to do it three times at this time. Maybe I'll try one time doing them right before because it might be interesting to see when they're very fresh. Yeah. Um, other, otherwise, I'll do them on the Friday at varying times. What I, what I have found for most people is that you can sleep on a beep once, but you can't okay. sleep on it twice, which means you can do it anytime Friday. It's not really 24 hours. I say 24 hours, but what I really mean is you can only sleep on a beep once. So you can, you can, you beep yourself anytime on Friday and mm -hmm. then we can do it Saturday, but it wouldn't be as good to do it on Thursday because then there'd be two nights of sleep. And, yep. And for whatever reason, I think people lose the details of their experiences. Of... Yep. So Friday at 10 a.m. I mean, sorry, well, your Friday, my Saturday at 10 a.m. And did you want to try next, next week? Can't, she won't. Right. Okay. And, 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 and so in, in the meantime, you can do whatever you want to do as far as I'm concerned. If you want to try the beeper on Tuesday or whatever, just to, just to get comfortable about wearing the beeper, that would be fine with me or not. Either way is okay with me. I, I want you to feel like you've got control. Over, I want you to have control and to feel like you have control over, over what you do. And, uh, Sounds good. I, I guess there's one more thing that I would I would... I would tell you about the beeper and that is that if you and we can do you can do this on your own after after we're done here but if you if you if you if the thing beeps and you don't push the white button it'll continue to beep for a minute or a couple minutes I forget exactly mm -hmm. how long and then it'll go into a chirp what I call the chirp mode mm -hmm. and the chirp mode sounds like chirp and then about 10 seconds later it'll say chirp and then about 10 seconds later, it'll chirp. And those are not beeps. Yep. Those, what that is, that's the beeper saying, I beeped, you didn't turn me off, I'm going to save my battery, but I'm going to tell you, turn me off. Yep. So if you hear that chirp coming from the beeper, that means turn me off. Push, and then, push and, the button. Not, not, no, no. With the wheel. Turn it off. With turn the wheel. Off. So turn you're saying after every beep, I need to not push the button. I need to turn it off and turn it on again. No, I don't mean that. Okay. After every beep, I push the button. But if yes. it gets into chirp mode, I reset it by turning it off and on again. Exactly. Got it. And I think I have probably said everything. I don't have a script about these things because I don't believe in scripts but uh, and and if I think of something that I should have told you then I'll email you and if you think of a question that you should have asked me then you should email me all right and, uh, and other than that I'm looking forward to doing it all right great me too I will see you at the same time next week <laughs>